welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha, if you guys are new here. As you can see from the title, we are doing another maintenance vlog. Um, I actually wasn't gonna do one of these. I was gonna just pop you guys into a regular vlog, but I've been doing quite a bit of maintenance and now I'm actually in Toronto right now, currently. I'm absolutely obsessed with my nails. You guys are literally gonna see near the end. I actually added a few more things on them because when I originally got them, I didn't get jewels. Well, I did get one finger on each hand with jewels. And then I realized I wanted more. So I got some more cute little jewels. I don't know if you guys can see them from over there, but they're so, so cute. So you guys will see them. So before we get into today's video, I do want to thank today's sponsor. So shout out to Lumi for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I've been trying to get my hands on their whole body deodorant. Listen, when I tried the Invisible Cream whole body deodorant, this is a game changer. Now this incredible product was created by an OBGYN, Shannon Klingman, and she basically came up with a product that will help with our body odor, not for just the underarms, but for all over the body. So this isn't just a deodorant. Louis is clinically proven to block body odor all day, and it continues to block that BO for up to 72 hours. Yes, you heard it right, 72 hours, which is literally three days. So with this Lumi Invisible Cream, just take a little pea size amount, I'll actually show you guys. Mix our fingers together, and I will put it under my armpits and just evenly massage it. You can see how smooth it goes on, and it evenly distributes all over, so you're not worrying about like getting too much product somewhere else. I love how easy it is to blend in. I'm just growing to really love this product. It leaves my pits nice and soft. There's no like sticky residue left over. You can definitely pair this with the stick. I personally have been just enjoying the cream. Let me just show you both products. This is the Smooth Solid Stick, and you can see it doesn't show on the skin, and this is the Invisible Cream. Both products just glide very nicely on the skin and do not show. Odor is one thing that I do not want to ever worry about, and with this product, you can use it anywhere, okay? When I'm telling you guys anywhere, you can use it anywhere. Okay, so your pits, your privates, literally anywhere on your body, like the crevices um, around your chest area that might be sweaty. Like I know I get sweaty around the intimate area, um, the booty area, and especially during a long gym session. This really helps combat the odor. They are skin safe, paraben free, vegan, cruelty free, pH optimized, and baking soda free. So they are suitable for all skin types. Lumi comes in a variety of scents and is aluminum free, making it a fantastic option for anyone looking for a safer alternative. For limited time, Lumi has a variety of holiday bundles available on their site. So it's a perfect time to stock up on Lumi products if you are a new or returning customer. Also right now, Lumi's holiday bundles are up to 40% off. So it's a really great deal for new or returning customers. And for you guys watching, Lumi is offering an additional $5 off plus US free shipping on orders over $30 when you use my link in the description box and enter code Keisha at checkout. But I highly recommend checking out Lumi. Do not knock it until you try it, especially trying out the Invisible Cream Deodorant. Also the scent Lavender Sage. It's like such a subtle scent. Pairing it with like perfumes and stuff is not a problem at all. Like I feel like it just doesn't clash. But again, thank you so much to Lumi for partnering up with me on today's video. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's a nice fall day outside, nice and crisp. I got on like a white crew neck and some black leggings, keeping it really simple. I'm wearing my Sambas, the white ones. Oh, it's really hot in here. I'm like wondering why it's so hot. It's because I put the heat on last night. It was so cold. See, like in the fall, it's always so in between. Like right now it's hot in my car. And last night it was like so cold. I needed so much heat because the temperature just like drops as soon as the sun sets. I'm actually about to go get my hair cut right now. So I'm on the way. I'm not gonna cut my length. I really mainly just wanna go for layers because I got really long curtain bangs last time, but then I cut them myself, which I shouldn't have done shouldn't shouldn't have done because i feel like i need more layers just to balance everything out so i'm on my way to go do that now and i feel like my hair is at such an awkward length with everything so i feel like i just have to get these layers add some volume then i can do more blowouts and stuff and like curl my ends a little bit more make it look more full i'm gonna go look at some clothes afterwards because i want to find some fall pieces so i might hit up either a mall or a couple little like clothing stores like randomly placed in the area. So I might actually hit up those and just go see if I can find some fall sweaters, fall pieces, cause I need some like casual wear, casual throw ons, you know? I feel like I'm always either in like active wear or jogger sets and I feel like I need to be more put together than that. So yeah, we're gonna be looking for that. This hat is so cute. I got, I got this in my last video. I went to the States with my cousin and we went to Paxson and this hat was there and I was like, wait, I need this, it's so cute. I think this is like the fit that, that suits me.
when I say I want my hair blow dried, this is what I mean. This looks good. Like she eats every time. Oh my God, it looks so good. I love it. Very happy I went with the layers and she actually fixed up the bang situation I cut on my own. <laughs> so she she fixed that for me. Um, it was quite uneven and I, I couldn't even tell which way she was looking because when I was cutting it, I didn't think it was that uneven, but it was so uneven. I was like, oh my God. The rollers, I think that's something we always got to do. Like that looks so good. She's running a little bit behind because she was trying something new, which was so sweet of her. The lady waiting was actually like super chill and she was like, oh yeah, take your time. Um, Cause I'm sure she does that with all her clients, right? She does that extra step, you know, just to find the best style for you. Let me know what you guys think about the new hair. I honestly feel like layers and blowouts are like the perfect fall hairstyle. Like if you want layers, definitely do it during the season. I just feel like it goes. Something about layers just looks so good during the fall. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I actually wanna check out Garage. I was looking on their online website and hopefully they have stuff in store, but online it showed that they had like a few really cute fall sweaters. So I do wanna go take a look. If we find some pieces there, then I don't really need to go to the mall. Cause I was like, do I really feel like in the mall mood? No, but I do wanna see a store at least just to get my my uh, excitement for new clothing out of the way. Cause I feel like one store will do if we find some good pieces there. We're actually by Booster Juice here. So I'm gonna stop at Booster Juice again and get myself a smoothie. It was so good. And I keep thinking about it. Got the Booster Juice. This hits every single time. So I found some pieces at Garage, but I'm not done yet. Now I'm like in the mood to shop. So I just pulled up to the mall. I'm gonna go to Zara, and then there's a couple other stores that I can go to. Actually, there's a Lululemon here. I'm going to take my Lululemon set back. Just wasn't giving. I actually ordered the jacket online, so I waited for that to come in, and then I kind of tried it all together. Like Lululemon's, what is it called? The Define jacket? I don't know, but it's like the shorter one. It doesn't look as good because the way the cut is, I think it's like a straight bottom. And yeah, I was like, you know what? Let me just take that back. Lululemon costs way too much money to even just be like contemplating whether I like it or not. So I was like, if I'm having these thoughts then I might as well just not get it. So I'm gonna take that back. I got a sports bra, leggings, jacket, and then a tank top as well. I'm just gonna take it all back. It's gonna be a good lump sum of money. And then I'm gonna see um, at Zara, find some more pieces, and then I'll show you guys everything that I got afterwards, so. I'm so confused right now. I just tried on this jacket in the States and it was $90 US. Why is it almost $300 here? $270? It's saying it's $125 Canadian if it's converted. Is this the same jacket? This is the same jacket. What is going on? I'm using my Digi Osmo Puck, by the way. Okay, I did some looking and it, it looks very similar to this jacket, but this one has this like extra piece here, which the other one didn't. I'm gonna go see if I can look for it and then I'll show you guys. This is so stunning. This is so cute too. There's this one in the longer version, which honestly I think I like longer versions better. That's cute. I might try that on. There's a lighter version here. I don't know, I don't like that one. I literally spent, let me not talk about it, but everything is just so cute. I got so many like jackets for the fall. We'll do a try on haul and then you guys comment down below what you guys like out of everything because there's no way I can keep everything. Like I showed you guys, they had a jacket that was very similar to the one that I saw in the States at the Zara there. And literally it looks, I feel like they look very similar, but I'm gonna actually put in an order for that one because it was way cheaper um, than this one. This one was like 269 just for the jacket or just for like the leather, it was real leather. I didn't look online, I just tried to like do the conversions of what the price was at the um, one in the States. It was $90 US. So here converted is like 125 I looked up, but it's probably more, but still way cheaper than the one that I just spent $269 Canadian. So, and they look the same. Like I'll put pictures up of what the jacket looks like and I'm gonna order it online and then we can compare. Cause this one actually looked really cute, which is why I bought it. But I really, really just, I don't know. I just am like not happy about the amount of money I spent. I know it's gonna be something that I will keep for a long time, but you just never know. So we won't do the try and haul today. Um, I'll do it another day. But yeah, your girl had a time in the mall today.
So I'm gonna try on some clothes for you guys and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna take back and what I'm gonna keep because I found some more stuff at Winners. I found two jackets. So I wanna find out which ones I wanna keep, which ones I wanna take. Some of you guys have been asking for a makeup tutorial. Listen, I've been wanting to do one, but I have my acne spots that I just really don't wanna have in the video. Like I know it can relate to some of you, but like I just don't wanna put makeup on when I have acne, like bad acne and stuff. So or like show you guys how I do it because it's not gonna look the way I want it to look. Currently just waiting for my skin to clear up. It is starting to clear up now but i think i'll do that actually in a separate video but i have all this stuff you guys like all this stuff here sorry my place is a mess i'm gonna clean it in my vlog i have all my clothes that i've piled up so i have garage zara some target stuff and winners so i have a bunch of stuff here i'm gonna try it all on figure out what we're gonna keep what we're gonna return and yeah so let's just go ahead and try on some stuff so we can get started with today i'm gonna start off with garage and then we'll do zara because i have a lot of jackets from zara this is so beautiful. So I actually got the zip up in a small. I wonder if I should have went up a size. It's kind of like a BBL jacket, if you guys have heard that. This sports bra is really nice. I got it in a size medium. With my torso, it always just goes like that, you know? I did get the leggings in a small, but definitely could have went for a medium. These fit my thighs perfectly. I love the color, really pretty. I love this. This is um, the size medium. I think it's called an activewear shrug. Just goes over your bra and covers your arms. So if you're one of the girlies who hates to show your arms, you can wear this like with a tank top or a sports bra. So just depending if like arms is your insecurity, invest in like an active shrug. These are so cute because sometimes I hate the way my arms look when I wear things, but I still want to have like the sports bra look, you know? This is one of the sweaters from Garage. Really cute. I love this. I actually got this in a beige and a white. I tried them on quickly in the the store um which is i think i showed you guys but um now that i'm like trying it on again i really really like the beige i think i might even like it more than the white but we'll have to try the white one on i also had to get a sports or not a sports bra i had to get a strapless bra off of amazon because i didn't have one which i can show you guys the one that i got i actually bought two different pairs with two different sizes which i'm going to be taking back so i'll show you guys them they're in the bag here but yeah i'm wearing a strapless bra for these tops I'm just letting them free is not going to work for me they do not look cute <laughs> i'm kind of thinking what it would have looked like if it was just a little bit wider here maybe a large but that might be too baggy on the waist area okay this is the white one i can see the um sports bra or not why do i keep calling it sports bra strapless bra underneath like slightly i don't know if this fits the same as the other one i feel like this one kind of fits less um cinched in the waist or is that just me does it look good what do you guys think this part keeps bending which i don't know what that's about should i have it on the side like that this is the next top. It's actually a crop top. It doesn't go off the shoulder. It's not like big enough, but it does have like a bigger, like a wider neck. I do like the material of this one. I believe this one isn't a medium as well, or it's a medium large, medium large. I think I'll keep this one. Okay, this top, I love this top. I feel like I never would have really gone for it. Um, it's just like a cozy, brown fall sweater and it goes off the shoulders the thing about off the shoulder though is like obviously when i'm doing things it does like like it'll fold back up whenever it feels like it so i probably have to like pin it here or if you guys can give me any tips and tricks on how to keep it down but like how beautiful and i love like the um color of it it's just so fall perfect for a coffee date or to go like run errands in it's just such a vibe i just put on this sweater real quick because i totally forgot i also have this um vest that i got from garage it has a hood but you can also detach the hood as well um which i love the option which is why i got it i do wish it was a little bit longer but maybe that would look weird i don't want more of a crop i definitely wanted a little bit longer but i think this works it's so cute cozy you can tie at the bottom here like how cute is this so cute. Next bag I'm gonna show you guys is Zara. This top I think is really cute paired with these Zara jeans, but I'm kind of skeptical about these Zara jeans. They are loose around the waist and I feel like they're a bit tight on the thigh and they're supposed to go to my ankle, I'm pretty sure, because they're crop pants, but of course, you know, your girl's short. But I figured because they're like a free edge, I could just cut them myself. But I think they go really well with the color of this top. These off the shoulder ones are so cute, but I just wish there was like a way to have it, you know, stay. I had to quickly search on their website to see like, does it go like, down because when i first put it on it was like so high with because there's so much fabric here right so she wears it with the shoulders down right 
It's just one of those tops you can't really do much movement with, but like you lift up your hands and this is what this is what your top's gonna look like. <laughs> could wear it like that. I could pin it or something again because it's so cute. I love the color. I think I will keep this top and figure out how to pin it because I really really love the color for fall and I do like it with a pair of jeans. I think it looks so so cute. So I got two of these long sleeve tops. This is the first color, black, plain and simple. I do really like the open neckline. It might be a little bit too wide if it was more like inwards it probably look cute because it does make me look a little bit wide it's also not a long top which i like because i hate having to like figure out what i'm going to do with the waistline because i have a short torso okay this one is such a beautiful color i actually wore this on thanksgiving with my family this color is stunning so it's the same top sorry i have to cover because i think my nippies are showing i had to change out of the pants because the tags were itching me when i saw this i was like this has got to come home with me this is so cute you guys get the vibe jacket is in a size small it's nice and like baggy i was gonna go for a medium until i tried on the small and i think it's like perfect i love that it's over my butt i'm definitely gonna keep this one then i have this jacket which i was skeptical about to be honest um you can fold up these arms if you want this one i believe it is in a medium let me see yeah this one is in a medium it's kind of cute but i feel like when i look at it from the front i am missing something here like i feel like maybe a belt or just more detailing right here i don't know what do you guys think the color is so so beautiful as many jackets as i have here i'm gonna say this is a maybe we'll put this in a maybe i'm not gonna completely say no but from the looks of it probably probably not but we'll we'll just say maybe for now then there's this jacket okay listen is it gonna be worth it is a good question um i'm gonna keep it because i feel like a jacket like this is timeless like you cannot go wrong with this type of jacket the fit of it it's nice and baggy i can wear with skirts and boots um some leggings like it's just very timeless i like the boy from fit it's real leather it should last the other one that i tried on was not real leather and it didn't have it had a zipper here but it didn't have these folds here so you could tell it was different then i got a leather jacket so i got a medium love the fit again this is a nice baggy jacket um i won't have to get any more jackets This is the aftermath of all the things that I tried on. I'm gonna clean up and I actually have to check in with my vlog now and um, do some things probably around the house before I leave. But I think I'm gonna take some stuff back today. I do wanna book a laser appointment before I leave. So I'll probably take you guys there with me. I'm currently on my way to go to a laser appointment. You guys know the drill. I was gonna do self tanner before I go to Toronto, but honestly, I just cleaned my bed sheets. I don't like to come home to dirty bed sheets. Um, so I like to clean my bed sheets before I go, and I did that last night. So I was thinking about putting a blanket, but I'm like, it's not about the color transfer. It's literally just about the fact that it kind of like has a, it has like a tan smell. Every cell tanner that I have has some sort of like tanning smell, and I don't like it. So, so yeah, I'm on my way to a laser appointment. I'm so exhausted, you guys. I was filming another video this morning. I'm just tired. I need to go to this appointment and then start packing i don't think i'm gonna film because i need to make sure i have everything and filming plus packing packing already stresses me out to begin with so no matter where i go i don't know why but i just never feel like i know what to bring what to put together i'm like the worst at it that's why i'm like how do people go traveling like back to back i'm like does that not stress you out like i need to know how do you have the fits for it how do you know like what to wear and stuff i don't know anyways the good thing is i'm not like dressing for anything like in particular i just want to have like obviously clothes for the fall um you know some nice going out clothes and stuff just pretty basic i'm worried about packing jackets and like coats and stuff because they are thick and heavy and i got this really nice one from zara it is a size large it's huge and it's heavy it's real leather it's so heavy i think i'm gonna wear that on the plane um tomorrow good thing it's like cold here and cold there and the planes get so cold so i'm so excited to walk outside though because i don't walk outside like where i live it's just not i mean it's walkable it's just not the vibes you know there's no like cafes there's no there's nothing you can really walk to so i don't walk outside here but in toronto i'm downtown i have all the cafes um if you guys are from toronto or if you guys have been and you guys know some places let me know some nail salons hair salons even cosmetic clinics and spas and stuff like that i've already been to places and actually i've found like a lot of good places so i might just stick with the ones i have but i'm really curious to know what you guys know if you guys go to really good places and stuff uh, i'm curious to see um, what places you guys go to then i can probably switch it up or something because i want to get my nails done when i go to toronto i was gonna get them done here but honestly i feel like no one knows how to do good nails here unless you want to like pay a fortune and i'm like not about it sorry this is like not related to maintenance but i'm not gonna be able to get my steps 
that I've been getting in my vlog. If you guys have watched my vlog, I don't know if it's gonna come out um, before or after this. I've been using a walking pad and that is such a game changer, you guys. If you guys have a hard time of getting up and out of your house to exercise, get yourself a walking pad. I use it now, like literally every morning. If not every morning, I do it by the evening just to get my at least 10,000 steps in. If I didn't get it that day, you guys, I haven't even made 10,000 steps. I, I stay home a lot. So me and my small little condo, literally I'm like making a few steps and I don't hold my phone. So I don't have an Apple watch, which I'm gonna get. And I use my phone to count my steps because I don't have an Apple watch or I didn't have an Apple watch. You guys, I just bought an Apple watch. I actually should have filmed it. I didn't, I was like taking stuff back at the mall and I just went and got myself an Apple watch. It was so spontaneous. Actually, it was when I took back the coach bag. That was like $600. So I was like, you know what, I was already losing the 600, so let me just grab the Apple Watch. <laughs> so that's what I did, I grabbed the Apple Watch, and honestly, I think it's a better investment, so. And honestly, it's gonna benefit me more than a coach bag, so there's that. I honestly haven't even set it up, I just bought it, and wanna take it with me to Toronto so that I can really focus on my steps because I won't have my walking pad. I'm gonna try to go to the gym more, but I do love walking outside um, in Toronto, like to cafes and stuff. Hopefully it's not like raining or um, the weather is bad or whatever. But yeah, I feel like I'm all over the place when I'm talking right now. Um, just have so many thoughts running through my mind. Um, anyways, we're almost at my laser appointment. even know if I got a proper flip of my underarms you guys holy smokes I actually was about to cry I don't even know if I screamed like literally I blacked out for how painful that was and it was my right arm and usually it's always my left arm so painful to the point where I literally broke out in tears like I'm not joking to you guys like I actually was gonna cry and she kept asking she's like oh are you okay now how does it feel right now but I couldn't answer her because I was like oh my god I'm about to cry so I didn't say anything so weird because I felt pain before but that type of pain was just like what was that? Like, that was not normal. Literally on the verge of like bursting out into tears with how painful that was. And I never ever get like that. Usually with pain, I'm like, I don't cry. I'm not even joking, you guys. I'm in Toronto. I'm about to go get my nails done. I'm gonna go to the same salon I went to. Actually, it was in my Tulum vlog and I never uploaded that video, but I got a really, really pretty set last time. And I'm going to Queen's Nails. It's in Etobicoke, um, if you guys are from Toronto. I've always been looking for a really good place to get my nails done. Honestly, no one does it um, so far like Toronto. I've got my nails done a couple times here and actually I went to like, I think three different salons, have I, or two? I went to two or three different salons here and honestly, every time I've gotten my nails done, I've really, really liked it. Yeah, that just goes to show like there's a lot of attention to detail, but yeah, it's really hard to find like good salons that actually do the things that like you see on Instagram and stuff, like the trends and stuff. Um, I always find like places in Toronto to do that. But anyways, I quickly got myself together. So I might've curled a little bit too much, but this is the hair. My appointment's actually not for another two hours. So I went to Anthropology to get these two beautiful bags. You guys know I took back the Prada bag that I got, the Brooklyn bag, I believe it was. It was in the 34 inch. I didn't realize how big it really was until I tried it on at home and I was like, trying to wear it with jackets and stuff like you guys saw um i realized how bulky that bag was like when i got it and i wasn't 100 percent on it and i knew that when i ordered it anyways i just wanted to order the color and see and then the lady did say i could bring it back so i really was just like let me just order it see what it looks like and then take it back so that's what i did and honestly it was like 600 dollars. so i was like you know what i can find something better that i'm actually happy with and stuff so i went by anthropology um in downtown just like taking a random walk and i was like you know what i haven't went in the store and i always see it so i was like let me just go in there they have so many decor pieces and stuff actually for christmas now anyways i came across these two bags i couldn't decide so you guys i was contemplating two different styles which i have both styles here i just got them in different colors so this one is a buckle toe it's beautiful like it just is so so cute and yeah it has like the gold detailing here and then i got the all black with the twisted the only detail of gold would be just this little button which i don't really mind it's also so so cute so what i did was i went on um instagram i did a poll of like what you guys like 
out of the bags and stuff. I didn't try on both the twisted and the buckle um, in my Instagram post, but I put it as an option. They were still a little bit pricey. They're both $100. Yeah, I just was like, you know what? This is a steal. If I get two of them, I'm still way cheaper than what I would have paid for the Prada, like girl math. So when I did that post, I actually already purchased both of these, the buckle and the twisted. Everyone was saying I should get the taupe in the twisted. And then a lot of people were liking the black in the buckle. And honestly, now that I've tried it on with like a lot of my jackets that I have here, I realized that I want this bag, the twisted one, in taupe and this one in black. So I haven't taken off the tags. I haven't worn them out or anything. I'm just gonna quickly return them um, because they had the other options there as well. I just honestly couldn't decide which one I wanted in which. I'm gonna quickly take these back. Then I'll head to the nail appointment because you guys, I need my nails done so bad. Literally, this one is chipped. All of these are so grown out. I think I told you guys, it's like so cold here. So I'm on my way to Anthropology. I'm so excited to actually have some nice fall bags. Like maybe I'll just try them on. Can you guys hear the wind, by the way? It's like so cold. I like downtown because I can walk everywhere and it's not that bad. Y'all, we need to get coffee first. So I'm gonna stop at Mo for Coffee, grab a latte, and then we can get on with our day. Um, latte, latte with vanilla and oat milk. Got my iced coffee. Do you guys see the fall vibes? So pretty. We're walking to Anthropology now. Honestly, my arm hurts, which is why I can't like lift up my camera too high because I'm holding this bag with the bags, you know. We've made it to Anthropology. About to go in. It's so cute in here, watch. Hi. Um, I actually came the other day. I just need to like return two bags that I already got. Just different style. Yeah, that's kind of different. You're all set to go there, see, ritual, and then go. Thank you. Thank you. Guess where I'm at? Winners, of course. This is the OOTD outfit of the day. Um, I have on these Steve Madden buckle boots. Really cute. I don't have any like cute little socks to wear underneath, like fall socks. So just have like my regular socks. I have some skinny jeans, which now I regret putting on because I'm trying to get a pedicure and I'm wondering how they're gonna get my leg. You know, maybe I'll quickly go back and change. I might actually do that. Um, and then this jacket, fall vibes. This jacket is Zara. This baby sweater is actually from Winners. It's from here. Um, I just got it at a different location, which I'm sure they have it here. And then this is the bag that I decided to wear. So this is the um, twisted one. And now it can go with like my dark jackets. So yeah, I'm trying to waste like 15 minutes before I have to catch my Uber. Okay guys, I'm in the Uber now. I'm on my way to go get the, my nails done. And I should be just like on time to go get them done. But my phone's about to die. Thankfully he had a charger for me so we're gonna see if I can charge it because I didn't realize my phone was at literally 10% um, and I'm trying to get like a nail video for Instagram so I'll try to see if I can still do that I'm gonna see how much this can charge otherwise I'll probably have to just get like a video for you guys because um, my cameras are fine it's just my phone that's like not charged it looks so dark outside but the sun is setting right now so my appointment's at 5 and it is like 4.30, I'm like half an hour away from traffic, so yeah, I'll chat to you guys once I get there and then I'll show you guys like what set I decide because I honestly I don't know what I'm gonna get so I'll show you guys when we get there <laughs>
right you guys i am getting ready for like a night out but my eyebrows need to be done and i haven't done them in a minute because i'm trying to get them to grow out a little bit i think i messed up on getting new nails after i got them done i would have just went back to the same salon but it was far and I just really wanted to add gems to these nails. And I did, they look so cute, right? I'll show you guys like what they look like. Like these gems are different than the ones that the actual salon that did my nails put on. The ones that I have on these fingers that I actually got done, they turned brassy. And then the new ones that I got were very gold. But I realized like from doing things yesterday, they chip, like I don't know how to explain it, but like they're like chipping, the color is chipping. So now they're turning like black. This one's turning like a gray. So you guys can see the difference in both those gems they still look really really cute and i keep getting a lot of compliments on my nails that was definitely my mistake i should have just got all the gems that day i just realized afterwards when i left i was like oh the other nails are all bare but now i'm just thinking damn they use different gems so it doesn't like look seamless but that's okay anyways i'm about to do some face prep so we're gonna be doing some shaving on my skin and then i also i'm gonna do my eyebrows my skin's getting very dry in the you know hormonal area like the chin and everything um, and I'm also breaking out. I don't have any active breakouts, but I do feel like they're like underneath, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and start shaving my face. I'm gonna actually use a serum with it because um, my skin is very, very dry. I'm just gonna use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Honestly, I'd probably just go in with like a vitamin C or something. I don't have that, so I need some sort of serum. All right, you guys, we're just gonna go right in to this. My skin is nice and prepped i'm going to just go ahead and get ready now okay guys i think i'm all oh my gosh i got my hair can you guys let me know how to prevent static because like this has just been the worst i don't have all my hair products that i normally use for my styling mousse i actually use the mega hold um i forgot my Kristen s volumizing mousse that i really wanted to wear and then my texture spray as well so i'm all ready to go and i'm gonna finish off with some fragrance of the night and you guys obviously know for the best fall scent kaoli vanilla has been the go-to so i have just like a small one um i'm pretty much done i literally i'm gonna grab a big bottle this time now that i've tried it out and i really like it okay my outfit's like really cute you guys if you guys can tell i have on the um garage like off the shoulder brown knitted sweater. It's so, so cute. And then I actually have on the pleated skirt. I think that's how you call it, just like a regular skirt. Actually, it has built-in shorts and then I paired it up with some nylons. And I just paired it with my really cute, trendy boots that I got from Target, you guys. These are so cute. They have a thick heel, like so easy to walk in. Cause after I used the round brush blow dryer from Revlon. So I put on these really cute earrings from, I actually got these ones at H&M. I wanted a statement piece, but honestly, I feel like I don't need them on. I just 
put them on for the hell of it. I'd wear those more for like when I had my hair up. I'm probably gonna take them out to be honest. Um, they're just a little much and I'm not even showing my ears. This is my jewelry for the night. Some like honestly just four um, rings. I don't know where to get rings you guys. Let me know where you guys get rings where they don't tarnish or anything. And then I have my bracelets here as well. My Cartier and then this one that I actually just got from Amazon which is really really cute. I, think. I put on my lotion combo, the Nivea and then the rose. I used it in my shower routine, so definitely check out my shower routine if you guys wanna know how I basically got myself together in the shower. Check out my shower routine, I have it out. A lot of you guys are enjoying it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you do wanna see any more videos from me, then make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.